All right. This is going to be a quick one. Um, it's what's on my mind today. So it's been a week since the election. Um, a, a, a week since voting day, right? Election day. And Joe Biden has been declared the winner, at least by the media. It hasn't been certified yet, but it looks like Joe Biden is going to be the next president of the United States. And obviously everyone knows uh, President Trump is fighting this tooth and nail, right? And um, now there's a lot of crazy talk on, on both sides here. There's people on the left freaking out saying we need to remove him from office, um, go get him, pull him out of there. Um, well, for one, you have to you have to remember he's still the president until January 20th. Um, so he, he's not like breaking any laws at all right now. He's saying that he thinks he was cheated and that they're going to do investigations. He's going to try to go through the courts and, um, you know, get some of these votes declared, you know, um, unlawful or see if there's any impropriety. Now, here's what I think. And I'll follow that with what I think needs to happen next or what I would like to see happen next. And I'll tell you up front, I did not want Joe Biden to win the election on election day. Did not want this outcome. That being said, um, even if there were some sort of impropriety, some sort of mistakes, glitches with systems, um, even if there were some votes cast that shouldn't have been, okay? It's likely that Joe Biden would have won regardless. I mean, just just by looking at the popular vote alone, he has massively more votes than Trump, like 5 million more votes. Um, now, if there was some sort of fraud and it would actually reverse the results of the election... I think they'll find that. However, I don't know. I, even though I didn't want Joe Biden to win, I don't necessarily want Trump to win through the courts. I don't think that would be good for the country. Um, but at the same time, a, 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 an election that you can't believe in fully is also not good for the country. So, what I would like to happen, honestly, at this point, even though I didn't want Joe Biden to begin with, um, I would like to see Trump get all the investigations that he wants, okay? I want this to be investigated fully and deeply, and I want them to leave no stone unturned, but they do have a limited amount of time to do this, honestly. Um, I think it's like December 14th or something where that the, the election has to be decided by. Like, that's by law. So whatever's going on with the courts at that time, they'll find another means to find who the president is if they can't figure out what's going on. But what I would like to see happen, what I think would be best here, is for, for the president to get all of the investigations he wants and for them to find that the election was legit, that Joe Biden is the next president. That's what I would like to see. I think, and like I said, I didn't want Joe Biden, but clearly the people want Joe Biden, right? Clearly he's gonna, he's won the popular vote, okay? And now I can make a whole another video about the Electoral College versus the popular vote and, you know, uh, my belief in the Electoral College. But overall, I'm saying it's clear that more people who went out to vote want Joe Biden. Okay, so I think that what would be best would be for Trump to get every 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 stone turned, right? For them to look into everything and find out that still Joe Biden is the next president. I think that's the only way that and there's still going to be a small segment, I think, of the of the population that won't accept the election results. Um just meaning they'll they'll continue to claim fraud and and say that the the 
the election was bunk and that, you know, the, the, the Democrats cheated. There's going to be a small segment of people still saying that. But I think for the most part, if you let the investigations go through and it is found that Joe Biden still wins, that most people could rest easy. Most people could live with that as a result. Even the people who did not want Joe Biden to be president. I think that most of the people who supported Donald Trump uh, through their vote, most of those people would be like, okay, we lost. And that that's this has happened throughout history. People lose. Someone wins the election. It's 50-50. It's like, you're either going to get what you wanted or you're not going to get what you wanted. Um, personally, I, like I said, I didn't want Joe Biden, but I'm not I'm not torn up about it. Like, I've, I've been through plenty of presidents that I didn't vote for. Um, and, you know, I, I almost, honestly, every time I voted, I've almost never gotten who I wanted. Whether it be for president or to, uh, to pick the nominee for the party to run for president, um, I almost never, ever get the person I want. So, my feelings aren't hurt by it. I feel like we're going to be all right, man. We're going to be okay. I don't believe in any of the craziness on either side of the aisle. When All the, the doomsayers, right? All the people who say like, oh, it's the most important election of our time. If we don't vote this way or whatever, if this isn't the outcome, then, then we're doomed. You know, I've heard that time and time and time again. And we're still here. We're still here country still together. We don't agree on shit all the time, but we're still a country. And I think it gets skewed too. I think a lot of people that are really deep into politics, they think that because of, because of uh, where their, 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 their vantage point, from their vantage point, it looks like everyone's this uh, polarized. Everyone's this crazy. Everyone's either um, hardcore right or hardcore left, um, it's just not the case. It's always been this way, and I think it always will be this way. Most of the country is not super involved in politics. They don't know all the stuff you know. If you're listening to commentary every day on politics, if you're deeply involved in watching interviews and watching news channels all day long, every day, most people aren't. I know it seems like it, it seems like it's half the country versus half the country. It's not. And most of the people who voted even, they're not hardcore, hardcore. Like, most of the people who voted Democrat, most of them are not like, we, like, they might not like Donald Trump. Obviously, that's why they voted him out. Um, but I don't believe that they're like, our country's doomed. He's a dictator. Most of them are not like that. Most of them are not. And most of the people who voted for Trump are regular ass Americans too. They're not these die hard, you know, we must defeat the left, the communist left. Like most of them are not like that. And I know it feels that way. I know it does. I know because I listen to a lot of commentary and stuff. And I can see how other people would think that this is the whole country. But it's not. Anyway, these are my thoughts on the election. What I would like to see happen here. Because it's, it's clear to me that a majority of the country um, would like Joe Biden to be the president. I think what would be best for the country is for them to get all the investigations through so that people can actually see that the election was not, you know, um, cheated, that the, the Republicans weren't cheated or Donald Trump wasn't cheated out of the election. Um, and that then we move forward with the Biden presidency. And you can, I'm sure... Both sides are going to be mad about this, right? Either they think I'm giving a legitimacy to Donald Trump's claims, right? Saying, oh, he should get all the investigations he wants. Um, or, or people on the right are going to say, like, how you know, how dare you, you know, Biden cheated. He, he shouldn't be the president, whatever. Um, whatever, man. I'm, I'm telling you right now, most people are in the middle. Most people can go either way. Most people, they, they vote for what they want but they're not like, oh, we're doomed. I didn't get what I wanted. <sighs> so that's that. That's that. That's kind of what I hope for the outcome. I didn't vote for him, but 
now that we're here, I think we should investigate for sure. But my honest hope is that those investigations prove that the election was was okay, that it was a, a free and fair election. Well, I mean, that would be, regardless of who the candidates are, would that not be the better outcome to find out that, yes, our, ele- our, our elections are legit and you can trust them and going forward, um, you should know that your vote matters? Like, that's what you want, right? Or do you want them to find out that voting doesn't work? I mean, what do you think? Anyway, comments, leave them below. Um, if you're listening to this in podcast form, you can drop me a message or a comment at Real Brett Scott on Instagram or Twitter. And um, yeah, those are my thoughts on the situation. So if you enjoy videos like this or podcasts like this, where here's what I do here. I pick a subject every day. I try to every day. It's called Daily BS. I try to pick something every single day and make a video or podcast about it. Now, I'm not perfect. I don't get it right. You know, I, I don't get it done every single day. But for the most part, I try to. So if you're into that sort of thing, it's usually entertainment or pop culture related. Um, politics like this, not usually not usually uh, on the list of things I talk about. But every once in a while, I mean, it's an election year. so. But normally, pop culture, entertainment, life stories, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, please subscribe for more or favorite or follow the podcast. And um, if you do stick around, if you do decide to subscribe or favorite or follow, then I will talk to you again tomorrow.